That is amazing. I've never given birth to a wasp before. It's a new one for me. The beep has been removed from this video. And as always, this video is highly educational. Beep, beep, beep. Right near our front door, our mud dauber wasp has laid up where it lays its young into a mud nest. It then packs it with spiders. That's what the young larvae will feed on and it looks like they're starting to hatch. It was about six weeks ago when this was laid up. I can see these ones here have not opened up. Maybe if I do this, we might see the wasp appear. I've never done this before. It may work or it may be a total disaster. It might be one of those things. Be careful what you wish for. Where's the wasp? Well, I can see some spideys there. That's what they feed on. I wonder if that one's actually matured or not. Hmm. I'll just try another one. This one here. Let's see what comes out of this one. Please be a wasp. These are actually our friends of the garden. These are guys you want to have around. Will I be able to make a wasp appear? Oh yes. Wow. Whoa, okay. There's our mud dauber wasp. It's um, just finding its feet and I'm pretty sure it will flutter away when it's ready. Come on little one. You got a lovely life of uh, catching spiders and eating pollen. Oh, oh, okay, yeah. Past the Dyson here. Almost flying. We'll get there. We're just learning how to fly because, well, we're only young. Beautiful things, and they don't go for you. These ones, they're lovely critters. We're getting a bit of speed up now. There's a bit of wind around, so that might help. Having a bit of an antennae play. Nearly. I like watching things doing their first flight. It's rather exciting. Oh, almost. Oh, almost. Uh, sort of flew back on itself there, running in that direction. Oh, it's just um, gone off the edge there. I'm on the flip side of that zone and I've had a good look around here. I do believe that wasp has got away and that's what we want to see. That was exciting, I want to see another one. And when the wasp lays these up, they tend to do this all in one hit. Now I'm going to try and get this one here to open up. I was quite surprised how large that wasp was. It looks like it came out as full adult size. Now I'll open up this one and see what beauty is to witness. Okay, okay, that's the that's where it's going to come out of, that thing there. Is it ready to come out or is it too early? Whoa, <laughs> making sounds. Wow. Actually, that sound uh, bids scare me a bit. Whoa, yeah. That is amazing. I've never given birth to a wasp before. It's a new one for me. Totally stunning to look at, totally stunning, and just uh, getting its legs and its wings. I'm actually surprised how large it is. It's, well, to me it's just adult size. Stunning. That's uh, a really, really interesting thing to do. It's on the tiles now. I'm just trying to get its little nuptial flight. I'd like to capture that on video. It's actually headed towards Fluffy Cat. Having a bit of a think, as you do if you're a wasp. You're thinking, wow, I'm out of that mud cell, what am I going to do now? Well, you can do anything you want when you look like that, I dare say. Still looking around. It's still just trying to find its feet. It's uh, pointing in different directions, maybe waiting for a bit of a breeze to come through. I can feel a breeze going past me. I wonder if the wasp can feel it as well. It's going to get to a set of stairs soon. Doing a bit more fluttery wing action there. Come on, Mr. and Mrs. Wasp, do your thing, please. It is headed towards an edge. It will do its fluttery thing, I hope. Doing some funky stuff there. We're trying to get that little nuptial thing. It's going to do a plunge into the garden, or will it fly? That's going to be one or the other. Or is it going to just turn around on me? 
I've come over to the other edge in a sense and we will see this thing fly. I'm determined to see this. I am sort of the father because I, um, I've helped it out of its, uh, its little cell that it grew up in. Okay, oh yes, nearly. Nearly, we're still playing with wings. Oh yeah. Come on, you can do it. Come on, little wasp mate. Maybe we can give this wasp a name. Until it decides uh, what it wants to do. It keeps doing that strange rolling onto its back. It's not often you get to see or muck around with wasps. They're sort of elusive critters and most times they, uh, they're not nice critters in the sense they want to sting you. But I keep saying these ones are they're harmless. They're mud dauber wasps. They tend not to go for you. Well, not that, not that I've ever seen. Maybe I've just been lucky. This wasp has been incredibly indecisive here. That's it. It's looking a little bit more confident now. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. I'm relying on you to keep the spider numbers down. Just on the thought of these wasps controlling spider numbers, I did a video a long time ago related to the mud cells that the mud dauber wasps make. And it's always a certain time of year when I see this activity. I associate it with... Christmas time, and for me that's summertime, that's going to throw a lot of other people out. Remembering where I live, everything's basically upside down, inside out. When the wasps are making the mud cells, there's a very distinctive sound, it's quite loud. And before the mud cell is closed off, the spider goes on a incredible spider gathering spree. The spiders are paralysed by the wasp, and all this happens very quickly. It's a reminder at how efficient wasps are at nabbing spiders and I've seen that personally down at the local gym and it gives you a big shiver down your spine when you just see the way how wasps work and sure we understand how fearsome a spider can be when it's in its own domain but I tell you what if it came down to putting money against a spider or a wasp I'm going to back the wasp because I've seen the way they work now one mystery about these wasps to me is I never see them during winter time. Mind you, a lot of nature goes hiding out during winter. Maybe someone in the audience can explain to me where do the wasps go during winter time? I'm starting to understand where the spiders go during winter time, but I'm struggling to understand where the waspies go for that part of the year. And I'm hoping that babble can be included as educational content on today's very inclusive YouTube. Still having to think. Doesn't know what to do. Yeah, a bit of that. We've seen a lot of that actually. More wing action. I think it's getting more confident in the wing department. It's getting a bit more speed up now. Oh! It seems to be perplexed in what to do, and maybe we'll just leave it at that. But it's something I've never done before is uh, giving birth to a, a couple of wasps. That was something very different. Maybe watching this thing's different as well. I'm sure it'll come good in its own waspy time. You know, so it goes back to that old saying, you never work with children or animals or insects. Uh, indecisive things at the best of times. I'm seeing a lot of comments asking about Spider Tank 3, which was Barbie the Red Back Spider's spider egg sacs put into a closed environment and it was basically like the Hunger Games in a very educational way. I think the next episode I have to put together is episode 5 and in the whole scheme of things that's about one third of the way through Spider Tank 3 which goes on for about a six month period and yes there is one definitive winning spider and that spider does get released into the backyard because I tell you what if you've survived Spider Tank 3 you've completely earned your freedom. Personally, I learnt more about redback spiders in Spider Tank 3 versus anything else that I've done with these amazing spiders. I already know with spiders when there are many spiderlings, only a tiny percentage go through to become full adult spiders. And in Spider Tank 3, there seems to be two ways to get a feed. You can be aggressive and initiate a battle and hopefully you're going to end up the winner and then you've got a feed. Or you can stand back, let another spider take the risk and then you can come in for a feed on something that hasn't quite been finished off. There's an unusual risk versus reward dynamic going on all the time in Spider Tank 3. 
Now, I said a few videos back, the problems going on with YouTube, and those problems don't seem to be getting any better. And just like Spider Tank 3, for me, it becomes a risk versus reward equation for what I produce on the site. And to explain it a little bit more clearly is it's very risky to produce quite complicated videos on a site that has tiny rewards dangling in front of you. Oh, <laughs> 